So you can manage events in a variety of different ways. I already showed you how to create a new event while you're importing, right? While you're in the import process, you can import your clips into a brand new event or you can import them into an existing event. You can also create a new event at any point by just going to the file menu and choosing new event. Pressing option N will also open a new event. So you can create a new event that way. It'll ask you to name it and it'll ask you what library to put it into. And let's just name this temp. And then to delete an event, you just select it and press file, move event to trash, or press command delete. And that will delete that project forever, or that event rather forever. You can also merge events. So if you've got two events that are overlapping, so for example, I've got Ethiopia and New Africa footage, and these are actually pretty much the same thing, so I'm going to combine them. I shift-click to select both events, go to my file menu, and say Merge Events. And that's going to connect the two events and put all the clips and projects from one into the other. And there you see now the... Uh, the New Africa event has been absorbed by the Ethiopia event. If you want to split an event, break one event into multiple pieces, you can do that. There's not a simple command for it. You have to do it manually, but it's not hard to do. You Let's say we want to, let's open up this Ethiopia event. Let's say we want to take all this cactus footage, everything that was marked cactus, and make a, a new event out of that. I'm going to just go say create new event, and then let's just name that cactus footage. And um, it looks like I spelled that wrong. Well, a good time to point out that if you want to rename an event, just click it to select it, right? Whichever event you click will be selected by that blue bar. Click it to select it and then click again and just once. And then that will allow you to rename it. And I can fix the spelling there. Cactus footage. And now I'm going to select the cactus folder here. Now, I can drag this folder from one event to another, but in fact, that's not going to work. I'll explain why in a second. So in order to do this, what we need to do is select the folder, then go here into the browser and select everything. So I'm going to press Command A. That's going to do a select all, or that's in the edit menu here. Select all, right? So I've got the whole, I've got everything selected, and now I'm going to drag that over into the cactus footage folder. And it's going to drag that over there. And then, so you see there, it goes into the cactus footage. And all of the these little uh, keyword collections got moved over, but not the folder. And that's because folders are specific to an individual event. So now basically what you see is all those contents that were in that folder are now here as well in this cactus footage. And so now all of those items have been moved to the cactus footage event. And so if we go back down here and we go, you see this now is empty. So it moved them from one event to the other, and then we can just delete this folder. These are just empty keyword collections now. And again, I, if keyword collections are confusing, the ne very next tutorial we're going to go through and explain exactly what they are and how they work. Um, but for now, just understand they're just groups of clips, and the, the folders are still there. The, the names of these keyword collections are still there, but the actual clips inside have been moved to this other event. Right, so we've essentially split this event, Ethiopia, into two events, and then we can just manually delete this folder, and you can delete it by selecting it and pressing Command Delete, or right-clicking and choosing Delete Folder, or going to the File menu and saying Delete Folder, same thing. And that will delete that and split the event into two.